Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are going to try to do some flames. Here we have a 1964 Lincoln Convertible. One of you guys sent this in. I appreciate that. This has got a nice big flat body panel, so it's going to be a perfect candidate for what we're going to do today. We're going to do a little bit of experimenting, and this should be really cool. So right here you can see how there's all these intricate flame patterns on this. Actually, you can't see anything. You just see snow. So let's, let's uh, turn this ISO down to like nothing. There, so now you can see we got some flame patterns all over this sheet. So this was sent in by my buddy Grant. Awesome. Thank you, brother. So we're going to be testing those out today and try to do some awesome flames on this. I don't think I've seen anybody else on YouTube use vinyl masks like this, so it should be interesting. I don't really have a guide to go by or anything, so we're just going to wing it and see what happens. You guys get to see me experiment all the time, so this is nothing new today. So we're going to pimp out this Continental and hopefully everything goes good. Let's, uh, let's go for it. So we're going to start off pretty basic on this first one just so that I can, you know, learn the ropes of what we're going to do here. And coincidentally, I need a gloss white base, so we already have that, so that's going to make things really easy going forward already. The first thing I'm going to do is go give this a really good wash with some soap and water. Try to get every trace of sticky kid fingers, whatever else might be on this body, make sure that we can uh, just start painting directly over this right now. All right, the body's nice and clean. So now the first thing I want to do, we're going to put a layer of Quicksilver Chrome over top of this. It's hard to tell, but it kind of looks like a pearl white now. All right, so I'm going to mix up our, so this is going to be the color for the, the whole body. Sunset Magenta. That's kind of like a dark purpley wine color. Okay, that looks like it's enough for now. We're going to do our flames, then we're going to go back to the color and keep adding more on to get it deeper and deeper and deeper. But we're going to just highlight the flames with Quicksilver and hopefully we have an actual true ghost flame effect. That is the plan anyway, so we're going to let this fully dry and we're going to start masking. Okay, here's our car. Got our base color on there. The whole car is going to get darker, but we are going to do our flames. In a silver, I'm going to try anyways, it's pretty small. Might have made more sense to do this on 118th scale first maybe. Alright, well we're committed now. I do plan on ordering one of these printers for myself, probably this week, because this is going to take everything to the next level. Could have went a little bit higher with that, but I didn't want this extra little tab to show up, so I think that's going to be real sweet the way it is right there. So I got to try to match the other side without screwing this up. Oh, 
Not bad, not bad. Looks like we got a piece that moved here. But I'll try to move that back down. Patience, Monty. Patience. There we go. I wanted it to come out of the fender like that, so that's why I didn't include that first little bit. I think that looks pretty good, actually. I'll see if we got one for the, the hood. That'd be cool. It looked like there was something. I imagine you might be able to put these on with a little spritz of soapy water. Probably make things a lot easier. You're not seeing it, but it's taking me about 10 minutes just getting the backs off of these. Try something like that. Got to have some good paint adhesion to do this, boy, because these are sticky. It's a little more than the halfway mark here, so we might have to get uh, somewhat creative and connect two of these together to make a nice hood set up. It's not quite perfect, but I think it's going to be okay for this experiment. These are going to be pretty subtle anyways, so... Not like we're going to be doing like pure hot rod flames. They're going to be subtle hot rod flames. I'm really going to press all this on there real nice. I'm going to mask it off everything except our flames now. This is just low tack painter's tape. So what my intention is, is to quicksilver highlights on the flames. Which is going to be very tough because this is extremely small. And then I'm going to candy over the whole car one more time just to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm hoping in the light that these flames are going to light up. So my airbrush doesn't have a regulator on it. It just bleeds off the extra air. So I got this turned way down so that I can make little teeny little shapes. Alright, so let's try this out. Let's start on the side of the car. The flames are a little bit easier here. That's pretty tricky to do and it's not perfect but I do have some color left in the center so that's really the purpose of this goal. I want to make sure that the tips are nice and silver though so that really really stands out. Big difference between that and that. I'm going to try to just fade everything in nicely on the, the hood here. Okay, I think we should go with that and see what our results are going to be like. So we are going to be painting over these, keep in mind. I've always wanted to do something like this. I just wasn't sure what it was going to look like. I 
Those are gonna be sweet. Hell yeah, look at that. Sweet. That looks cool on its own. Never mind putting candy over top of that. Alright. Here comes the big one. Okay. Now, I'm hoping just to get enough candy on there, just to cover them, just to hide them. And when the sun hits this thing, I want these flames to just pow in your face but in the shade I'm hoping that they're gone so we're back to the we're going back to the spray booth still got our paint here we've had a good half hour to just chill out so I gotta just clean up the airbrush here quick so there's a good possibility here we could ruin what we've started already but but we're on the search for awesomeness so we're gonna go for it anyways You can see I put two heavy, heavy, heavy coats on this. You can still see the flames clear as day. That's how thin this candy goes on. So you can be very, very liberal and just end up with something really cool when you're done. So I'm probably going to do, I don't know, probably one more. One more good coat at least. I want to hide those flames a little bit more. That's it. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to let this fully dry. I'm going to clear coat it and in the meantime we're going to do a wheel swap and maybe paint that interior another color or something. But yeah. Oh hey Jimmy that's a real nice Lincoln you got there. That's a nice color. I'm trying to get the best angle on the light so it's not all glare. But yeah they light up nice and uh, metallic-y but only at like special angles right? So I'd say that was a, a success, this project, really feeling that, and I look forward to what's going to happen in the future. So we can put whatever we want below candy now. All we need is some sort of stencil. You remember that we used uh, Hot Wheels factory white? If you look below my candy there you can see, you can see kind of a marble effect. And that's the orange peel on the white for the factory paint job. So there we go guys, there's our Lincoln with our ghost flames. Let me get some light on here so we can really see what's happening. You see that orange peel now? All the way to the bottom of that candy. You just reach in there and touch it, it's marbled. It's very nice, it's very nice. So this wasn't a total custom, this is me just messing around trying to teach myself some new customizing painting technique because I'm all about the painting that's that's what we do here on this channel so I had a lot of fun on this one hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm mm, not sure what's coming up next but I uh, will see you in a couple days with the new project and we're definitely gonna work on something cool so if you enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one mm -mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm